Hi folks, here we are, New Year Starter on Collins Model Railway. What we have done over the last few days is bought these incline, decline starters. 4%, 4% rises means it's about a 1 in 24 rise or decline. Now then, I bought these in MIB models in Port Call. These are four starter things in here, or the risers. I shall show you the rest which I bought now and what I've done. By the way, these are by Woodland Scenics. Now then, here we have the subterrain lightweight layout system, the two inch risers. This I also had in MIB models in Port Call. Uh, they also got a pack as well of the one inch risers. I shall show you what they've done with them now in a few minutes. What they've done with the risers as you may see from the point in the background over there. I've run a piece of track by here. I've put a couple of locomotives on here for now to hold it down while the glue sets. The first taper piece goes by here which virtually starts off at nothing and rises up to one inch by here and I just fixed the track on it temporary for now I've also given it a run as well it's working okay and it is out of the way of the track by here which can go into the sidings by here I've run a couple of carriages around by here and it passes by here with about three quarter inch to spare now what I've done by here now is the second set of the riser this by here now is the one inch riser by here with the taper piece fitted on top which now takes it from one inch by here to two inches by here and here is the glue which I use to stick these pieces down for the time being and as you may well notice I've got about half a dozen locomotives on you for now just to weigh it down to hold it in place for the glue to set off now then what I got to do now is I've got this third section done by here now this is the two inch riser by here and with the taper piece on top this will take it from two inches by here when I finish off up to three inches at this point and then from there then once I put it in place, I shall show you in a second. This is the two inch riser. This is the one inch riser. And that for there is the taper piece. Now these three pieces go together to form the fourth part. And what it'll do then, it'll ride four inches in eight feet. So that will be sufficient for a train to run up with several wagons or a train to run up with several coaches. Now I shall come back to you soon after I put all this together and then we shall do a little trial run on you. There you go for now. Here we are folks. We have now placed the rails on top of the inclines. The first incline so far as here is where the inch riser is. That is now stuck down. This section to by here which is the rise of two inches that is also stuck down this section all along here this I have to stick down what I've done now I just put this temporary at the moment but yeah and I've given it a couple little test runs and she is running okay nice and free and easy we shall run this little Good span and there's carriage down you know in the next few seconds and we shall show you. Here we have the coach at the top of the incline. We shall now take a little piece of rail out of the way and let him run down the incline. There you go. And that seems to run rather well. Here we have the goods van now placed on the incline 
We shall now move this little piece of rail out the way and we shall let them run free down the track. There she goes. Now then, what I've done so far with these risers, the white zigzag things you see by here, it starts off by here where it's more or less at zero. It comes up to two foot where the joint is by here. That is up one inch. Then this one comes along here, which is another two foot to that joint by there, where it's risen up to two inches. And then this one along here to the end by here, which is six foot length total, and that is risen up three inches. And this is what we have done so far. By the way, this third section is not stuck down at the minute. The first two sections on here, they are put in place and stuck down. The rail suggests laying loose for the time being. I tested it out with the coach and I tested it out with one of the locos and I tested it out with one of the goods vans. Now this section here, I can have to manufacture a piece around there, maybe a piece of plywood or something so far as here. And then when it's at this point here, this is where it'll be four inch risen up. And then I shall run it along the window section by here, behind the carriages. And then we shall take it from there. Here we are folks, what we've done over the last week or two. Coming off the main circuit. We come up to where these risers are. As you may well notice, they rise one inch in two feet. And the next section then, it will rise from one inch to two inches by here over the next two feet. And then it will raise from two inches to three inches by here where I put for now this board by here which I, I shall use for a bridge and we shall run it across the tracks over here and have an elevated section over here now all these by here now are four inch in height and the polystyrene sections the risers now have all been stuck down but the tracks are just loosely fitted on it for now. I run a couple of coaches down there and a couple of wagons and they seem to run quite perfect down there. So we shall give it a little test run before long and run a local up and see how it goes. And from this particular part by here, the point, I have now run the sidings and what will be the area for the sheds by here. They're all loosely fitted now for the moment. But this is the general idea is where they're going to go. Now as you may well notice there are a couple of spare locomotives here. But I'm going to show you what I should do with them next in a few minutes. Now then on this side of the layout at the moment is where I'm putting all the spare stuff for the moment and what I plan to do is possibly put another section here for engine shed and a storage area and of course we come by here where the end of the polystyrene risers are I'm not sure if you can quite notice I've got a couple of third radius Track just laid over there loose for the time being can be a rough template where it, where it needs to go now from there this is going to be elevated and I plan to put the storage area above this lot by here which will probably be about six inches above this by here we shall come back to you soon with that and show you as we go along what we're doing here we are, we shall now test the track out now.
And we should now test him out going forward now and hopefully up the incline. Seems to be coping with that quite well. And now we shall run it back down. Now we shall bring the DMU out onto the track. Here we go. We shall now test the incline out. This by the way folks is the DMU 105. And now we're up the top on the flat section. And now we should bring it down the other way.
And now we shall park it back up into the sidings.